Hello YouTube, back again with a little more content. Uh, today we're going to be talking a little bit about uh, a bug out bag for the family pet, uh, in particular the family dog. Um, I have a guest star with me, uh, is Nova, uh, one of my dogs. She is an American Bulldog Boxer Mix. Um, so if my family were to bug out, uh, the girls would come with us. The reason I say girls is because I have another one. Her name is Brandy, and she's not with us at the moment. Um, but since we have Nova here chilling, then she's going to kind of be used in this video. You get to see her in just a second. Uh, why is a bug out bag important for a dog? Well, because circumstances when uh, you're bugging out are are going to be a little difficult uh, so far as having a pet. Um, you know, having a pet and bugging out with a pet is going to be a very inconvenient thing. But if your your mind is set on bringing your dog with you, then um, you definitely want to prepare for that type of circumstance. So um, to kick this thing off, I'm going to show you guys what's in my dog bug out bag and what I'm going to take along with me. Again, these are all just suggestions uh, for things that you can bring in your bug out kit. And I'm gonna give you a couple of my ideas about the bug out kit. Some things that I've chosen not to pack inside my bug out kit and things that I have chosen to, to put inside of my bug out kit for your dog. So uh, let's kick this thing off. Um, a lot of these things that I have inside of my bag uh, are gonna be duplicate. Um, so I'm not gonna uh, be repetitive. I'm just gonna show you uh, all of the items I have for one of my two dogs, and then uh, we're gonna push through through this video. Um, if you like any of the things that you see in this video, please punch that subscribe button, and uh, let's get into it. So first, first thing I decided to bring and I don't have this stocked up just now, but this is a little portable food container. As you can see, you take the lid off of this food container and you can put food inside this. Now, ideally, everyone says that when you bug out, you wanna do it for, you know, two, three days. That's ideally, you know, uh, you know we know that the rule is you know, if it can happen, then it most likely will. So bad circumstance happen and you're out there for uh, a longer period of time, then this would actually go inside of one of my boxes that uh, I have for my bug out vehicle. If you follow me or you subscribe to the channel, then you guys seen my bug out vehicle um, on my page. And this will go inside one of those, those yellow totes and this will have food in it for the dog as a secondary secondary means of providing the dogs with something to eat uh, these two top lids that comes off to cover the top of the bowl and then these two detach you could use these as bowls it also has a reservoir for water and then you can turn this over and use that for a bowl as well. So that's the first thing that I have inside of my kit for bugging out with my pets. Let's see what else we got in here. Uh, this is a kit and I'm just reaching in the bag as we go. So it's no particular order. I'll explain things as I go. But uh, if your dog got injured, um, say they had a laceration and you wanted to try to sew, sew your dog up, you know, well, if you have a long haired dog, you know, it'd be hard to see, it's hard to see a laceration or a cut or something. This is a little battery operated razor here and wherever the injury is, uh, more, most likely on the leg or, you know, by the paw, then you can shave that area off and, and get it real clean so you can figure out you know what you need to do so far as sewing the dog up and, and getting to that puncture or that wound next thing here we have 
collapsible dog bowls. We have two of those. You know, most people uh, do duplicate switch. I have the ones that you just seen, but uh, most people get duplicates. They say, oh, well, this is gonna be the food bowl. And then they have another, another couple of these and they say, this is gonna be the water bowl. Well, if you're like me, then, you know, a, you know, your dog can drink out of the same bowl that he eats, he or she eats out of. So you just have, you know, two pair of the, uh, two pair of those per dog. And they can eat and drink out of the same receptacle. Next here, uh, this is a big thing that I that I wanted to mention. Uh, you know, a lot of people, you know, they they they're bugging out with their dogs, but you know, they they're not. They're not thinking of the perspective uh, issues that you could have when you're bugging out with a dog. Um, ticks, fleas, things like that. Me personally, uh, me personally, we give our pets uh, their immunizations in-house. So it's a good idea that if your dog has not had uh, immunizations in a couple of years, Say you've already taken them to get them and you feel like that's sufficient. Well, that's what the preparation is for. You know, if you haven't had uh, their shots in two, three years since their last uh, visit, you know, it might be a good idea to order them, you know, their Parvo, Distemper shots, uh, order those things online and just administer them yourself. Uh, they're very expensive. Oh, I'm sorry, not very expensive. They're very affordable. Um, very reasonable and uh, it's actually very easy to administer those shots another thing you want to do with your pets uh, prior to bugging out is you want to give them treatments flea and tick treatments make sure that you treat your dog because if they're gonna be out there you know they're gonna be sniffing around in new areas you know the ticks are they're gonna pass through tall grass that the ticks are hanging out on and you know, going to latch on to your, your animals. So you wanna have your animals treated prior to bugging out. These things, you know, it's just a straight line down, down, you know, the run of their spine, the run of their back, and uh, boom, they're treated, you know, and you don't, you know, you, you'll feel less worried about the ticks and, and the mites and things that, that potentially want, want to get after them. So make sure that you treat your dogs uh, uh, rabies shot, stemper, parvo, that stuff's very nasty stuff, you know, if they got, you know, stemper and stuff, you know, it's, you know, uh, pussing at the eyes, uh, coughing, temperature, you know, it's very nasty stuff and potentially death for dogs, so, you know, uh, they can catch that from other dogs, so you think, if they can catch that from other dogs and people are bugging out with their dogs, then your dog can possibly come in contact with an area where where another affected dog has been. So you definitely want to treat your dog if you plan on bugging out. Uh, it's one of those scenarios where you know if you're gonna do those, if you're gonna bug out with your dog, you want, you want to treat them. Uh, another thing I see people doing with their bug out kits is they pack dog poop bags. Well, if you're bugging out and um, it's an extenuating circumstance, you're not gonna be you're not gonna be worried about picking up your dog's poop, right? You know, dog poop is biodegradable. It takes nine weeks for dog's feces to biodegrade. Uh, it takes ten to one hundred years for a plastic bag to biodegrade. So, yeah. While you could say, I'm not really worried about the environment during a time like that, but why would you be worried about carrying dog poop? So next on the list, uh, a lot of people carry uh, personalized uh, medical kits. You've seen this kit in uh, at least three of my videos if you follow me once again. You've seen this kit. This is my daily EDC. And I'm gonna make a video about my family uh, medical bag, which is more extensive. But this medical bag, this is antiseptic spray foam on the side here. 
I have an extra pair of socks in here. I have gauze in here. Uh, I have uh, stitch stitching uh, needles. I have I have uh, sutures. I have pliers for sewing. Um, I have uh, I have everything in this thing. I I can't even think. Tourniquet, uh, CPAP mask, uh, band aids. I have gloves. Uh, have scalpels in here. All of these things uh, are useful when it comes to patching your dog up as well as yourself if something were to happen. So uh, it's, it's repetitive. It's no point of in customizing a medical bag specifically for your dog if you already have a daily EDC or another medical bag. One thing in particular that I will say um, is a good thing if you're going to uh, separate something from your medical bag is this stuff. It's first aid uh, powder for dogs, cats, and birds. And what it happens is you, you pour the powder on uh, the exposed wound and it helps to coagulate and stop the bleeding. And uh, if you're out and something happens to your dog, it might be a good idea to have some of this stuff. It's very inexpensive probably about six, seven bucks on Amazon or any other reputable website. So I would suggest you get your hands on some of this. A leash, self-explanatory. We're not gonna get into this too much. We just got a regular leash times two. Ooh, a couple other things. Uh, always keep a utility knife inside of uh, the dog's bug out kit um, you never know if they're gonna get tangled up in, in either their dog vest or inside of trees you know via their their leash or something and you want something uh, real sharp you know that you can get them out uh, pretty quickly um, let's see here we keep a this is what I would be carrying their food in inside of their dog bug out bag. Uh, outside of the one that I showed at the beginning of the video, which would go inside of uh, one of my containers inside of the car, this would go directly in the bug out bag and this would accommodate enough dog food for 72 hours of uh, traveling during you know a bug out situation. So we keep one of those in there. Uh, every single one of my my medical kits, my bags, any of that stuff has uh, a flashlight in it, on it. So I keep uh, I keep a flashlight handy in all of my gear. And uh, self-explanatory, you know, you're always going to need a flashlight. You never want to be searching for a flashlight. You always want to have the mindset or you always want to have uh, the feeling of, of being comfortable knowing that you have a flashlight readily available for you and all of your, your kits. So they're very inexpensive. Why not keep a flashlight in each one of your bags, even, even the dog bug out bag. Another thing we have here is we have a little muzzle little dog muzzle um this muzzle you know is uh, for if you know if your your dog is is injured um obviously the na a natural reaction for the dog is going to be uh to bite because it's saying hey that hurts or i can't take that amount of pain you know and so naturally they're going to want to to nip at you you know not you know intentionally to hurt you, but just to let you know that you know that's displeasing to them. Another thing that a, a muzzle is for is that if you're bugging out and you and your family decide to set up camp for the night, um, your dog, if it's vocal, every little sound that it hears, it's going to want to bark or it's going to want to make some sort of noise. And if you don't want to give your position away to you know the bad people then you know you might want to muzzle them up if they're too uncontrollably or uh, uncontrolled or uh, they can't be consoled or what have you so a muzzle is a good option for something like that uh, a 
another thing. Uh, only got two of these because I can't find the other two in the bag. Uh, but dog feet, an extra pair of feet. Uh, dogs' feet are, are very sensitive, especially when it comes to uh, rocky or sticks and, and glassy terrain. So they need something to protect their feet too. So uh, make sure that you keep a pair of these uh, per how many, however many dogs you have inside your house and um, you keep these on hand so when you're out there you can protect your dog's feet or else uh, you'll be guaranteed you'll be finding yourself uh, making some sort of medical repairs to your dog's feet or, or you know, taking care of your dog so far as that. I keep paracord inside of my bag for my dogs. Um, uh, you know, the, the tourniquet that I have inside of, uh, inside of my EDC medical kit, you know, the tourniquet might be a little too big for, you know, the size of a dog's leg. So you could wrap your, your dog's leg in some sort of cloth, a sock, anything, and then you can actually use your paracord to tie it off. Or if there's a circumstance where, you know, uh, your dog might have to, to cross a river or something like that, and the leash, the leash is what, six six feet. It's not gonna do it for you. So you could tie, you know, a lot of paracord to the D ring lanyard on your dog's collar, and it might help in assisting them to get across a river or something like that. So it's always good to keep 550 pair cord, 1100 pair cord inside of your dog bug out bag, just in case you have a circumstance like that. Just depends on just how committed you are with keeping that your furry family with you during your bug out situation. Uh, last but not least, my dogs uh, eat red meat and uh, they hunt rabbit, uh, anything they can really Pretty much get their hands on and they will eat it just as they catch it um, so uh, most people uh, might feel a certain type of way about this they they might be naysayers but uh, I actually keep uh, an air powered BB gun inside of my dog uh, bug out kit uh, in case I see any squirrels in case I see any rabbits and stuff. This is an easy way to preserve ammunition. Uh, if you carry like a 22 or something to preserve ammunition, uh, you can get a bottle of BB shells, like 2,000 inside of a, a bottle. And how long would that last you? You shoot a squirrel, you shoot a rabbit. Um, you can feed your dogs that way, right? Um, or you could feed you could feed the family that way. Uh, in a, in another instance, I've shot I've shot plenty of rabbits, plenty of squirrels that way. And then you take them, you uh, get your fillet fillet knife, you know, and that's another way to to provide for either yourself or your dog while you're out there, you know, uh, trying to make it to your bug out location. Uh, last but not least. Come here, girl. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, baby. All right. This is Nova. Come on, girl. Come on. This is Nova. And Nova has on. Come on, girl. Nova has on this neat little collar here. And you see that? That collar lights up. So when you're in the dark, when you're in the dark, then you know you can find out. You can find out where your hound is. You know, she if she runs off, say she she sees a raccoon or something, she runs off. Or if you just if you just let your dogs out and at, at night, you know, these little reflective collars, even when it's not turned on. And they're charged, you know, you can use an uh, external battery and charge it. Uh, if you were out, then 
you can turn one of those on and it'll illuminate your dog's neck and you'll be able to to see their location so that is all i have for the dog bug out kit i hope everybody enjoyed this video thoroughly and if you have any suggestions on how i can improve my dog bug out kit please put it inside the comments below and i hope that everybody stays safe and i'll see you next time